In this topic, you will learn how the current accounting validation functionality has been improved and how to get simulated entries from a document validation before posting it. When running single or mass generation processes of accounting entries that use automatic journals, a screen can now be displayed to show the simulated entry without posting the document. In order to run this functionality, the parameter ACE SIM TRC has to be set up at the user level with a value different than no. This parameter can have three different values. Yes always means the generation of entries is simulated. During the generation, one screen is automatically opened displaying the simulation results and potential errors. Yes if error. The generation of entries is simulated. The simulation screen is only opened when an error happens. And no, no simulation is run, entries are generated. The following functions are affected by the parameter ACESIMTRC. Both customer and supplier BP invoices, customer and supplier intercompany invoices, as well as validating and posting. The APAR Payments and Receipt Entry screens, Purchasing and Validation Invoices, Sales Invoices, Credit Memos, and Validation, Transactions Created from the Stock System, as well as Transactions Created from Fixed Assets. The parameter ACESIMTRC only affects processes using automatic journals. So the following functionalities have been modified. Batches, balance transfer, recurring entries, recurring entry balances, calculated journals, and dimensional allocations. First, we need to set up the ACE SIM TRC parameter. We'll go under Setup, Users, Users, Select Admin and go to the Parameters tab. We'll come down to the Accounting ACC group and go into the details. Notice we have our three options. No, Yes Always, Yes If Error. I'm going to change my simulation to Yes Always. Click OK and save my changes and close the page. Now we're going to create a supplier invoice. Go into APAR Accounting, Invoicing, Supplier BP Invoices. We'll use the following information. Click New. Site will be NA011. My accounting date will be 1016. My supplier will be NA055. My currency will be US dollars. And my amount less tax will be $600. I'll go to my Lines tab and I'll enter in my grid information for site NA011. And we'll leave it be account number 70900 for our $600 and we'll create our invoice. Now before we post the invoice we're going to disable account number 70900 to see what happens. So I'll close the page and I'll come under common data. I will come under my GL accounting tables and go into my accounts. I'll make sure my chart is NA1 and I'll select account 70900. And I will make it inactive and I will save my changes. Now I'll return back to my supplier invoice. And I will try and post. Now 
I get my error message, but this is my simulation first, telling me these are the accounts that it was going to affect. And then it tells me that my accounts are not valid. So now I'm going to go back in and make my account valid. So go back under Common Data, Jill Accounting Tables, Accounts, find Account 70900, make it active, save my change, close my page, and go back into my Supplier BP Invoice, APAR Accounting, Invoicing, Supplier BP Invoices. Now when I go to head and click Post, and validate. It tells me it's temporary and it shows me what the simulation will be. My invoice has not actually posted yet. If I want my invoice to post, I must go back into my parameter. So that would be under Setup, Users, Users. Come under my Parameters tab. Come to my Accounting ACTC group. Go into my Details section, change it from Yes Always to No, or Yes if Error, click OK, save my change, close my page, go back under my um, Supplier Invoicing, and now when I post, My invoice has been posted and validated. In this lesson you have learned that you can now simulate the journal entries before posting a document to the general ledger. What the impact of this process will be when using an automatic journal and that the simulation feature can be run always, never, or only when an error occurs based on the parameter setup.